Do you ever catch a fish or look for your cutters or your needle nose to retie and you can't find them up in the front of your boat? Have I got a tip for you. Good morning guys and girls, how y'all doing today? It is windy here in Oklahoma. I mean the wind is blowing up a gale. I think we have some stormy weather coming in. It seems like this time of the year that we have just absolutely gorgeous weather for a day or two and then another front. And then absolutely gorgeous weather and then real high winds and another front. But uh, in all of this, we've really not got much at the ranch and we got we need a little rain out of this this storm that's supposed to be coming in. It looks like you look right down, there's nothing around clear blue sky, supposedly 100% chance of rain tonight. Not 100% chance of very much, but we'll see what happens. Okay, our daily devotional for May 12th is from Mark 1045. 1045, the Son of Man did not come to be served, he came to serve others. That's Jesus we're talking about. The Son of Man, Jesus, did not come to serve, to be served, but he came to serve others. We do a lot of entertaining here on our ranch in southern Oklahoma. Some of it's for business, but most of it is just sharing with our friends. Chris, Chris cooks and she serves great meals, and we work extra hard to make these visits really special for our friends. We have to help some people get in the boat because of age or physical limitations. We tie on hooks. We rig baits. We land and unhook fish. We pick out backlashes. We change out rods that are broken, and so forth and so on. Sometimes we even throw the lure out for beginning anglers and let them wind it in. We do this because we love our friends. All of them have shown a special love for us, and seeing them happy is our reward. That's all the reward we need, just seeing them happy. Jesus has a special love for each and every one of us. He has a special love for me. He has a special love for you. And his desire is to serve our every need, not just for a day, not just for a week, not even for our lifetime. But Jesus' desire is to serve our every need for eternity. Did you hear that? Our every need, whatever we need, spiritually, physically, psychologically, financially, emotionally, whatever we need, Jesus is the answer to solve that problem. Jesus is here to serve our every need. Isn't that amazing? That's an amazing God that we serve. One of the ways that, you know, it's kind of built into us to serve. Uh, God has put into every one of us a lot of different type things that he desires. And one of those, he's put us into us a desire to serve others. We want to help. And once you become a Christian, you want to serve God. You want to serve other people. You want to be pleasing to God. And uh, sometimes we don't know how. Sometimes we feel, sometimes we want to help spread the gospel, but we're not bold or we don't feel comfortable going out and talking to other people about God, talking to other people about Jesus. One of the ways that you can serve God in a big way is by sharing something like this daily devotional. Uh, on Facebook, uh, we have literally 20 to 50,000 people a day read this devotional from Catch of the Day, and we have hundreds of shares every day. Some of the same people will share with 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 other people. And I, I think that they're sharing with people they know, people they love, people they're believe that this devotional will help them in their life. Might be members of their families, might be somebody that they met at church, might be somebody that's struggling a little bit with whatever. And they look at that devotional and they say, you know, that might be something that might help Bill or Joe or Sally or Jimmy or whomever. And so they share that devotional with them. And they, they share it, read this, look at this. And now that we have a video on it, we can share this video with others too. And so I encourage you, if you've got someone in your life that you feel like can be benefited by listening to God's Word and getting closer to God, maybe someone that's lost, that if they die today, they're going to hell. And that's important to you. It's obviously important to them. They may not even know that. 
and it might be just sharing a little word. One of the things about fishing and talking about fishing and fishing stories and fishing tips is uh, fishermen want to hear them. And if at the same time they hear a word from God, it just might change their life. And as it says right here at the end of this devotional, not just for a day or a week, not even for their lifetime, but it might change their life for eternity. Here's our tip for today. Screw down a magnet on your front deck to hold your needle nose and cutters. <laughs> Screw down a magnet on your front deck to hold your needle nose or cutters. You know, this is amazing. I, when I wrote this book several years ago, I found some of those somewhere. I don't know where. They were little round magnets about like that. They had a screw right in the middle of them, and you could actually take and screw them down right in the front of your boat, one on each side or one in the middle of your boat. And when you threw your needle nose or your cutters or your scissors down, they stayed right there. I don't know how many times in a tournament I had partners say, I can't believe your needle nose don't bounce off the front of your boat. And, uh, but I can't find those anymore. I don't know if anybody still makes those. If you've got them around, if you do, let me know. I'd like to buy a few of them because I'd like to put those back on my boat because it is so handy to know right where your needle nose and pliers are going to be. Now, I know they've got little deals you can put on your boat seat and that, that, that up there that you slide them in. I know we've got them in a ranger boat. We've got little compartments right up there in the front of the boat. Got it on a tracker boat, too, as a matter of fact. Little compartments you can stick them in. But most of us don't stick them back in those little compartments. Most of us just throw them down in the bottom of the boat. But if you can throw them down on a magnet, it'll be there all the time. So if you know where they got those, they're little old round magnets to screw in the middle. I don't know who made them. I don't even know where I came up with them, but I used them for several years. And I would change them from boat to boat to boat, and I finally let them get away. So if you know where they, where they are, let me know. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, serve others like Jesus serves you. I love you.